In this video, we're going to focus on factoring sums and difference of cubes. So let's say if we want to factor the expression x cubed plus 8. Now, there is an equation that you want to use, and here it is. a to the third plus b to the third. This is equal to uh, a plus b times uh, a squared minus AB plus B squared. So you need to realize that A to the third is the same as X cubed in this problem. Therefore, if you take the cube root of both sides, A is equal to X. Now, B to the third is equal to 8. And the cube root of 8 is 2, so B is equal to 2. And now we just got to plug in everything into the formula. So just keep in mind, A is X, B is 2. So a plus b, that's going to be uh, x plus 2. a squared is x squared. a times b, or x times 2, that's 2x. And b squared is uh, 2 squared. 2 times 2 is 4. And so that's how you can factor uh, this particular expression. But let's go ahead and try another example. Let's say if we want to factor the expression x cubed plus 125. Feel free to pause the video and try this example. So notice that a to the third is the same as x cubed for this problem. Therefore, a is x. And b to the third is 125. Now, what is the cube root of 125? What times what times what is 125? The answer is 5. So instead of writing a plus b, this is going to be uh, x plus 5. And then it's multiplied by a squared, or x squared, minus a times b, or 5 times x, plus b squared, which is 5 squared. And so that's how you can factor a sum of cubes. Now let's try another example. Let's say if it's 8x to the third plus 27. Try that example. So we can see that a to the third is equal to 8x cubed. So if that's the case, what is the value of a? The cube root of 8 is 2, and the cube root of x to the third is simply x. So a is 2x. Now b cubed is 27. And we'll need to take the cube root of 27 to find b. That means b is equal to 3. So now using the formula a plus b, it's going to be 2x plus 3 times a squared, which is 2x squared, or 2x times 2x. And that's 4x squared minus ab, which is 2x times 3. And that's 6x plus b squared, which is 3 squared, or 9. So that's the answer. So let's try one more example with sum of cubes. Try this one. 25x cubed plus 64y cubed. So we can see that a cubed is 25x cubed, and b cubed is 64 y cubed. Actually, I can't use 25. Let's take out 25. And let's use uh, 27 instead. 25 is not a perfect cube. So a is going to be the cube root of 27, which is 3. And the cube root of x cubed is x. b is going to be the cube root of 64. And the cube root of y cubed is y. So now that we have a and b, we can find the answers. So now, let's substitute. a is 3x, and b is 4y. And then it's a squared, or 3x squared, minus ab, which is uh, 3x times 4y plus b squared, 
or 4y squared. So this is equal to 3x plus 4y. Now 3x squared, that's 3x times 3x, which is going to be 9x squared. Negative 3x times 4y is going to be negative 12xy. And 4y squared, 4 squared is 16, so this is going to be plus 16y squared. So this is the answer. Now the next equation that you need to be familiar with is the difference of cubes. So a cubed minus b cubed. And this is equal to uh, a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So if there's a negative sign between a cubed and b cubed, there's going to be a negative sign between a and b. And then this sign is going to change to a positive. In the last example, we have this equation a to the third plus b to the third is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. So if you want to come up with a, a generalized formula for both, here it is. This is going to be plus and then minus. Actually, let me put it in different colors. So it's going to be a plus or minus, and then a squared. The sign is going to flip at this point. So I'm going to put the, the blue one on top, but it's going to be minus. The red one on the bottom, that's going to be plus ab plus b squared. So as you can see, the sign is going to stay the same at first and then it's going to reverse. Now let's try some examples. Try this one. x cubed minus 216. So a is equal to x and b is the cube root of 216 which is 6. So this is going to be x minus 6 times a squared or x squared plus ab or plus 6 times x plus b squared, which is 6 squared, or 36. And that's it for that example. Let's try some more. Try this one. 64 y cubed minus 125. So a cubed is 64 y cubed. b to the third is 125. The cube root of 125 is 5. The cube root of 64 is 4. So a is going to be 4y. So a minus b, that's 4y minus 5 times a squared, which is 4y squared, or 4y times 4y, which is 16y squared, plus ab, or 4y times 5, which is 20y, plus b squared, or 5 squared, which is 25. Try this one, 8y cubed minus 27. So a is, or a cubed is 8y cubed, b to the third is 27. So a is going to be 2y, and b is equal to 3. So it's going to be a minus b, or 2y minus 3, times a squared, which is 2y times 2y and that's 4y squared plus ab, 2y times 3 is 6y, plus b squared or 3 squared, which is 9. So as you can see, these problems are not too difficult to do. But let's try some different examples. Try this one. x to the 6 minus 64y to the ninth. So a cube is x to the 6th power, and b cube is 64 y to the ninth. So what is the cube root of 
x to the 6. To find the cube root, you can raise both sides to the 1 3rd power. So basically, you're dividing 6 by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so a is x squared. Now what about b? The cube root of 64 is 4. The cube root of y to the 9 is basically 9 divided by 3, so it's going to be y to the 3rd. So a minus b, that's uh, x squared minus 4y cubed. Now what's a squared? So if a is x squared, a squared is going to be x to the 4th. Now what about ab? So multiply x squared and 4y cubed. That's going to be positive 4 x squared y cubed plus b squared. Now b is 4y cubed. So b squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. And y cubed times y cubed is y to the 6. So it's plus 16y to the 6. That's the answer.